This is a film about UBB. What is UBB, you may ask? It stands for usage-based billing, and it's actually a very old concept. It's how we pay for food, fuel, clothes, electricity, and many other things we use every day. Products are manufactured and distributed, and we pay for how much we consume. Now recently, the CRTC, the Canadian Content and Telecommunications Pricing People, approved the application of usage-based billing on all Canadian Internet users, regardless of their choice of Internet service provider. We'll all be paying for the amount of data we consume over the Internet, just like we pay for nearly everything else. Sounds reasonable? Well, not exactly. The thing is, data is not a manufactured product, and it's not a consumable product. Data is nothing more than a series of electrical signals traveling across a bunch of wires over short and long distances. In fact, the equipment used to relay these signals doesn't really care how much data is actually passing through the system. Which is why corporate internet service providers bill their customers based on the speed of their connections. The more speed the customers demand, the more equipment the provider must purchase to meet that demand, and the higher the rate the provider can charge its customers. And because of this speed-based billing method, the faster your connection, and the more you use it, the cheaper it gets. All the way down to a fraction of a penny per gigabyte. It's one of the few services in the world which increases in value the more you use it. However, the large telecommunications corporations, the ones that own the last mile connection to your home, want to charge you for all of the data you've consumed, regardless of your choice of internet service provider. Up to $5 per gigabyte. That's a pretty big markup. On top of your monthly fee. Uh, yes, you still have to pay for that. And if you're not careful, you'll get a huge bill. So why did the CRTC, which is staffed by former and future employees of the corporations, agree to usage-based billing in the first place? The large corporations claimed it was to help manage congestion problems generated by data-hungry applications such as online video, as well as excessive demand from the so-called bandwidth hogs, who apparently were consuming so much of the provider's network capacity that very little was left for everyone else. But if a small number of customers can gobble up most of a provider's available network capacity, does that mean there never was enough network capacity for everyone? And what about the other upgrades the corporations are implementing for their other services, such as, for example, IPTV? Do you see the contradiction? The large corporations are claiming that they don't have enough network capacity to support their internet services, while at the same time upgrading their network capacity for other services. So let's assume for a moment that internet congestion and bandwidth hogs don't exist. What might be the real reason behind the implementation of usage-based billing? In Canada, large corporations already own much of the nation's television channels, television distribution systems, newspapers and magazines, movie rental shops, telephone services, both wired and wireless, and internet services. But today, a growing number of people are reducing or dropping their existing services and getting everything they need through the Internet from independent providers. The Internet has now become a direct threat to the large corporations' existing services. So to fight back against their own customers, the corporations scrapped their unlimited Internet packages and started charging for data overconsumption. However, the independent Internet service providers who purchase last-mile access from the corporations and have their own corporate internet connections were luring customers away from the large corporations in ever-increasing numbers. So the large corporations successfully petitioned the CRTC that it was now necessary to impose exorbitant and unrealistic data usage fees against everyone, regardless of their choice of internet service provider, not to manage a congestion problem which probably never existed in the first place, but instead to halt the migration of customers away from their existing services while at the same time drive the independent providers out of business through increased operating costs and very soon anti-competitive pricing schemes. And that's the UBB deception. 
Usage-based billing would allow the large corporations to become the sole owners of the nation's communications and information infrastructure, charging whatever they want for their services, and potentially control what people can and cannot see, hear, and say, not just on the Internet, but also on every media outlet they own. Just how far do you think that control could go? Whoever owns the medium controls the message.